guys, I'm Scott Jones and welcome to a brand new Minecraft story mode video. And today guys, I'm going to look at my choices I have made in Minecraft story mode. For those that did not know, in Minecraft story mode, you can see all the choices you made. You have made deci uh, decisions from episode 1 to episode 8. And I'm going to have a look at my ones, because it's been a while since uh, episode 8 came out and we all played it. And it was great fun and all. Uh, so let's actually see uh, what choices I've made up from episode 1 to 8 in this section here. It's called My Choices. Alright, so here's uh, episode 1. You and 67.4% of players let Ruben get a black eye. So I'm with the majority on that. So see, as you can see, I'm I'm with the green line. I let uh, it was called I'm the green line anyway. I let uh, it was called Ruben get a black eye in the first episode, if you guys remember, and that was uh, that was quite tragic. I, I'm so sorry for the black eye, Ruben. <laughs> you and 36.7%. So I'm in the minority now. So I wonder if I'm in the majority. Or a uh, minority to the whole thing. Let's see. Uh, maybe we can have like a sub uh, total at the end. So 36.7% of players went back to save Lucas from the Iron Golem. Oh, that's very interesting. I wonder if um, I, w I wonder if you don't go back to save Lucas, what happens then? Does Luke does Lucas die? <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. Why why would people not go back and save him? Uh, I'm sure sure there's like. Whatever choice you make anyway in, in Telltale games, uh, it carries on and it always kind of sticks sticks with the main plot. Um, and then maybe later on in the stories, they kind of go back and say, oh, look, you made this choice. So, so for a good example, if you haven't played episode 8, spoiler alert. Uh, for a good example for this is if you do something like what you did in episode 1 uh, when you picked... Uh, what would you rather fight, like giant chicken or giant zombies? Or uh, zombies with chicken legs? I don't know, something like that. It was a question like that. Uh, but that question determined for the last episode uh, what would Hadrian's, uh, was called Hadrian's punishment be in, in a world of uh, giant chickens and all that. So, <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's uh, an idea of your choice. It's very clear on it's from the first thing they say to the last thing that happens. Uh, you and 47.8% of players help Petra when escaping the wither storm. Oh, yes, yes. Petra. Oh, the poor Petra getting caught in the wither storm. You and 74.8% of players convinced Lucas to stay in the shelter. Oh, that's so interesting. I thought it would be like... Like that was quite I didn't think uh, Lucas would stay in the shelter now if Lucas leaves the shelter that basically means um, He'll come back. He'll come back anyway uh, To the gang uh, when they, go, they find the order of stone temple place. Did you build a command block? You and 88.1% of players stayed to help Ellie build the command block. Oh, It'd be so cool if Elengard actually made the command command block. Now, in my choices, I let Elengard die. I took her armor. I took her armor um, in episode um, one, I believe. No, in episode three. So she died uh, when I went to fight the Wither Storm um, instead of uh, it was called Magnus. So so. That's quite interesting that she was so close to making the command block though. Uh, did you craft or, or steal the repeater? You and 77.4% of players stole a repeater. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember that. <laughs> did, how did you take down the gas? You and 48.6%, that's such, that such a split. A player shot the gas with a bow. Wait, you can do 48.6%. What? How else do you take down the gas? If you don't shoot with a bow, do you just dodge? That's an interesting one now. See, I want to go back and um, I'm thinking of going back through all the episodes and trying to make different choices and seeing how it turns out then or seeing what else I can find if I make a different choice. 
so that's the interesting thing about Telltale Games is that. So let's uh, flick through these again. Number three, episode three. How do I get back to the start? One, two, three. Okay. Did you go after the amulet or your friends? You and 64% of players chose to help your friends in the grinder. Oh. Oh, okay, so a lot. 35.8% went for amulet. Yeah, I, I think going for your friends is a nice choice, but you get. You, either way, you do get to meet your friends, and your friends stay alive anyway. Did you follow Lucas to the end or lead the way? You and 63.8% of players followed Lucas to the end. The Enderman was quite scary. Remember that scene where Lucas was like, oh no! It's like, what? The Enderman! <laughs> Did you high five Ruben? You and 61.3% of players didn't high five. You can high five Ruben. And episode three. High five Ruben. <laughs> you can give Ruben a high five in episode three. Oh, no way. I need to figure out how to do that. I need to do that. All right, let's look at episode four. All right, did you convince Lucas to stay or go? You and 50, oh, this is like a split. You and 54.9% of players let Lucas save his friends. Hmm. I wonder what it would have been like if Lucas stayed, like, I wonder if, I wonder if uh, Aiden would have been a thing. Oh no, but he has to be a thing. But imagine, uh, Aiden would have been more of a thing if uh, Lucas stayed, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he, if something like that? Let's check out this one. Did you enter the witch's hut or warn your friends? You and 55.6% of players snuck into the witch's hut. A member steal the cake? Oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> you know, Jesse's such a thief, right? Like a lot of people are saying Jesse's a hero. He's a hero, but he's also a thief. <laughs> uh, I think there's this story that we're missing. Like there is a story behind the, the heroes of, of um, the Order of the Stone at the moment. I'm talking about Olivia, Axel, and Jesse. You can leave out uh, uh, what's called Petra and Lucas and all the other lads. Um, but Olivia, I, um, Jesse, and Axel, the three lads that live together, there's a story behind them about why they steal, because they seem to steal a lot, especially Axel. Axel, notorious thief, and he loved to steal. It was, it was mostly. It was mostly Axel's fault uh, or the, why the Wither went off in the first place, wasn't it? Wasn't it Axel's fault why, why, uh, why the Wither Storm happened? Because if the if Axel didn't steal the potion, the Wither Storm would have never happened. Is that correct? I don't know. I'm just shooting out like random random uh, theories there with no, no actual fact behind them. But I'm, what I'm thinking is Axel stole the potion because he's a, he's a thief. And that's why uh, when the potion needed to be thrown to stop the Wither Storm, when um, it was called Ivor thrown the potion, that's why it didn't go off. That's why the Wither Storm took off and the command block, uh, uh, well, the Wither killed everyone. Hmm. I better check that scene again when he steals the potion. If not, because uh, that, that, that's a really, really, really key scene for this uh, story. Let's check this one. Which weapon did you craft? 5.9% of players crafted a diamond hoe. Only 5.9% of players did that. Well, like, when he does say weapon, you do think, like, sword or axe or something. I'm, like, in the minority with that. I love that. I mean, 5.9% of players crafted a diamond hoe. That's hilarious. Diamond hoe! It's a diamond hoe. And I love the way, like, um... Ruben's sister laughs like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do his laugh. All right, did you choose a uh, new armor or did you keep your own? A six point five percent of players choose new armor. I agree with them because the the armor there are just like fantastic. Like, look at the designs of them. I really wish you could custom your own like diamond armor. That'd be so cool. Like, I picked the yellow one there. Did you convince Gabriel to keep? The secret or tell the truth. You and 52. Oh my gosh, this is like the tightest split ever. 52% of players allow Gabriel to tell the truth about the order. 
Oh, okay. So I allowed him to t tell the truth. Um, from what I remember, yeah, I did. All right, there we go. Awesome. So let's check out episode five. And what did we do for episode five? Did you demolish Ivor's lava house? You and 34.4%. A lot of people left Ivor's house. Oh, that's really cool. So, like, his house is allowed, but I assume the lava had to go or something. Oh, that That's pretty cool. I'd love to see, um, Sky, uh, not Sky City, um, what's her? Endercon? Is it Endercon? Whatever their town name is. I never, I'm not actually quite sure what their town name is. That's going on in my head. I don't know if they ever told us or not. But their town name in Minecraft Story Mode, wherever Jesse and um, Axel and Olivia are from. Whatever their place is called. I keep saying it's Endercon or Enderfield or something. Alright, let me know in the comments down below if you know what their uh, place is called. It'd be interesting to know. Did you run from the guards or try to help Ivor? This is in Sky City. You and 48.2% of players ran from the guards. <laughs> Did you try to save the founder to help Lucas? Oh, you and 78.4% of players tried to rescue Isa. Oh, okay. I wonder why no one tried to help Lucas. Oh, we all fell off in the end, really. Uh, who did you who did you leave in charge of re, re, uh, reconstruction? You and sixty three point two percent of players made Isa and Milo share power. Oh wow! I do wonder what ever happened to their power now. Like who? Like did they share power? Did they did they actually try their best to combine, or did they separate again? And then there was like war there, war there. Uh, there's no more ever source, so they actually had to go out and mine trees. So that must have took some learning. Um, and I wonder if they did like abide from the rules of break all the blocks you need and build whatever you want. Uh, everyone's allowed to build because in Sky City they had this rule about no building, <laughs> um, just to reserve materials and stuff. But yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I actually wonder what this story is after that. You know, some, we could we could actually go into a big long theory on um, what could have happened um, if, if they all separated again. So episode 6, this is one of my favorite episodes. I think episode 6 was fantastic. I think episode 6 really gave it, gave the second part. Like you have episode 1 to 4, which is the Witherstorm, fantastic. Then episode 5, it didn't, it was good, but it wasn't fa it wasn't great. Episode six was the boost of the second, uh, the second set of four episodes. I think it's a real boost. I really uh, picked it up with all the YouTubers, so I think they should definitely do that again. Did you show the flint and steel to Captain Sparkles? You and eighty-two percent of players showed the flint and steel to Sparkles. Okay, fantastic. Um, who did you accuse after dinner? You and sixty-one point seven percent of players refused to accuse anyone. Oh, you could like accuse someone straight away. So I could accuse Stampy or Dan. <laughs> like his hair kept changing color. Dan, your hair kept changing color. I accuse you. <laughs> um, but that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. Did you uh, did you lend a helping hand or go after the white pumpkin? You and seventy one point one percent of players went after the white pumpkin instead of helping your friends. Ah, oh, I'm so mean. Well, look, I wanted to get that white pumpkin. Like, I just wanted to get that white pumpkin and just destroy her and not let her um, harm anyone else. Did you convince the others about Cassie Rose? <laughs> you and 24.2% of players didn't give enough evidence to convince Cassie, uh, convict Ca Cassie Rose. That is so true. I was like, let's procrastinate a little bit. And I was like, Coming up with really, really bad theories on how she could be the white pumpkin. <laughs> um, how did you leave Cassie? You and 26.3% of players left her all alone. Ah, so what? what is not alone? Is not alone with Winslow? Hmm. I do wonder what happened to Cassie Rose because she's not dead. I do wonder if my theory of... Did I, ever, did I ever do that TV video? 
the theory of yeah the Hunger Games theory, the Hunger Games battle mode theory, the whole the whole idea of having the 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 villains after um, the Order of the Stone. So I'm talking about um, not not the Wither Storm. That story's done. Uh, I'm talking about Cassie Rose. I'm talking about um, uh, Aiden. I'm talking about maybe Hadrian at this stage. So maybe those three guys. Um, uh, and if Pama can come back, could Pama come back? Pama's a computer uh, and she's built by um, an old builder. And Hadrian's an old builder, so Hadrian could almost build Pama. So yeah, you know, th th those four four villains, if they could come back and like have a Hunger Games type of thing against Jesse and his gang, that would be so cool. Um, but that's what I wonder, because Cassie Rose is sitting there and she's not doing anything in those blocks. When uh, when Jesse left her, so there you go. Maybe that's a that that's a story that could be happening. Telltale. Uh, there we go. Episode seven. Let's check this one out. This one was this one was good because actually, like everyone was <laughs> craving for some shit uh, to happen. Like we all we all made the theory. Everyone hates this one of Jesse and Petra, the Jetcha theory. Uh, I wouldn't hate that, but, <laughs> but loads of people liked it as well. So there you go. Uh, but in this one, an actual ship did happen between um, Ivor and Harper, and I called it. <laughs> I called it, made a video on it, and there you go. It did happen, as I predicted. And and yeah. So did you make a Petra angry in the portal hallway? Eighty-six percent of players made pet. Made uh, made nice with Petra. Okay, so 13% actually went in really thick. Uh, what did you, you tell Pama about how you would found how you found this world? What did you tell Pama about how you found this world? 50 point. Oh my gosh, this split is so close. 50.8% of players were uncooperative with Pama. Oh wow! Okay, that that that's a big, that's a very very fifty fifty split. Hmm. Which friend did you unship first? You and thirty point one percent of players unshipped Lucas. Oh yeah! Everyone wanted that battle at the end with Petra and um, Jesse because <laughs> this just made so much sense. It made way more sense for that battle to be Jesse and Petra at the end uh, with Pamela controlling Petra. Petra because they had a bit of an argument in the start of the episode um, episode 7 so which portal which potion did you choose to clear a path of Pama I used invisibility I was with 33 point 33 percent uh, why did I choose invisibility I, I should have picked like leaping or something yeah I wonder what leaping would have been like did you defeat Harper you and 25% of players did not defeat Harper. What? Why would you defeat Harper? Like, Harper wasn't the bad guy. 20, wait, 75% of players defeat Harper? Wait, how do you defeat Harper? Like, like, the, like punishing Harper? Well, like, I know Harper was, you know, 90% of the problem, but... Um, pr pr pretty much she was, was the problem, but her machine got out of hand and she wanted to shut down. And she realized the problem in hand that she caused. But yeah, 25% of the players did not defeat Harper. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, episode 8. And now this one was a fantastic episode. This is what I always wanted. I wanted this type of a battle Hunger Games thing. And we got it. We got the walls, which was fantastic. Uh, who did you rescue during Extreme Spleef? You and 76% of players rescued Petra. Awesome, awesome. We saved Petra's life. Uh, did you make a deal with um, M or not in Lava Race? You and 67.5% of players agreed to work with M in the Lava Race. Yeah, she's cool. I I wonder if I could do more with M in the future. How did you finish Lava Race? You and 87.3% of players rescued Neil. No, sorry, Nell. Now, Nell, you could have let her die. 
She, she could die and she could go into that um, working facility. And I guess you can see her later. Now that's interesting. I want to do that again. I want to do episode 8 especially again. So I am going to repeat episode 8 after I finish this video. And see what I can find. Um, I'm going to upload what's called... Uh, a cho uh, choice, uh, what's called episode 8 choices video, you know? And pick different choices of what I didn't do. So I'm gonna let Nell die and see what happens and all that. How did you deal with Hadrian in his palace? You and 41.6% of players agreed to Hadrian's new deal. Yes. Yeah. That, like, his deal wasn't that fair, to be honest. Like, there were no. There's no real choice in taking this DR or not. <laughs> uh, now, interesting thing I did miss, because I went to um, I went to the armor stand first. I did miss there was a soaring book in Hadrian's palace. And everyone wrote it in my comments, because I did make the theory about Sorin and his future. You guys can check that out in the card up above if you want. Uh, but yeah, like, there was a Sorin's book in his palace, which I need to go and check that out. Another thing I need to check out is, on the way to his palace, there's this guy who's trying to pull you in and he needs to tell you something. I need, I, I want to find out what he, he wanted because I didn't go to him. I avoided him. Um, so I wanted to find out what he wanted. Where did M go in the end? You and 51.6% of players brought M to your home world. That's awesome. I can't wait to see M in the future episodes. I'm sure she'll be in the future episodes. She has to be. Doing something anyway. Anyway, that's it for the Minecraft Story Mode My Choices video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment what your choices were. Were they different to mine? Were they the same? Uh, also, if you'd like to see more videos, here's a few videos on the screen right now. You can press any of these uh, videos. And also, uh, click that little subscribe button on screen as well to subscribe to I'm Scott Jones. And make sure to subscribe twice by hitting the bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, guys, have a nice day. Goodbye.